Hi guys, so I'm doing a curling hair tutorial. This is how I've been wearing my hair in my last few videos and I got a lot of requests to do a tutorial on it and I'm excited to do it because I love the way this curling iron curls my hair. Um, it's different than a clipless curling iron. I'm using this T3 um, twirl. It's the one and a quarter inch um, curling iron and it's a classic one with a clamp on it. I'm used to using ones with um, without a clamp and so I'll go like this and I'll like kind of wrap my hair around it. Um, but lately I've kind of like switched over and I like both give a really um, pretty look. I just have been really liking this particular one. So I curl it obviously a little bit differently than I would um, a twist around curling iron which I think is pretty straightforward. So I just wanted to show you guys how I use this one. So um, first off I'm starting with next day hair. I washed it and blow dried and flat ironed it yesterday. So you want to start off with um, pretty straight hair. Okay so what I'm going to do is um, break my hair up in two sections and it really depends on the day I'll mostly do two sections so I'll go right above my ear and then straight back most of the time I'll just do two but if I really want um, to be more precise then I'll do like three or four I do have a lot of hair but I like to make this a quick and easy process so I'm going to just twist this hair up and clip it so that's out of the way and then I'll bring these hairs forward. Alright, so my curling iron is heated up and I put it up to the highest heat setting. The one negative thing about this curling iron is that this heat settings thing just really easily kind of like slides. Um, so sometimes during when I'm curling it goes down to a lower heat setting which kind of annoys me but um, I just kind of have to keep track of it and make sure that it's not going too low because then I'll notice that my hair isn't curling that easily. I separated this really weird, but that's okay. I'm going to take um, about a two inch section of hair and I'm going to take the clamp on top of the hair. You want to make sure that you're curling most of the time away from your face because it's going to create like a softer look. I like away from my face, but a lot of people like towards the face, whatever you prefer. And I'm just going to kind of twist it away from my face. And I started in the middle of the hair and then I'm going um, up to the root. So I'm curling or twirling it up to the root. I'm going to hold it there for a minute or two, or not a minute or two, like maybe like 10 seconds. And then I'm going to press on the clamp, kind of release it, and then twirl up again. And I don't have any like specific inches that I release it to. I just kind of like keep going. And then I hold it and then I release it. And then I twirl it up the last time and I make sure that um, not all of the ends are like inside the barrel because then your hair is just going to slide right out. So you want to make sure that you have a good grip on the hair too when you're doing this. And then I hold it, um, so maybe all together like 30 seconds and I'm going for this baloney curl look. This is not going to look like this when I'm done but I want it to set in this shape. So then I just kind of flick it to the back of my head and then I just keep going and I take um, pretty big sections because I like a bigger looser curl so again you want the clamp um, above and I am right handed so I use my right hand for this so on my left side I'm putting the clamp above and then you'll see what I do on my right side so I'm just going to keep doing that start um, in the middle of the hair roll it up you could touch it to make sure that all the hair is you know getting warm completely Then I'll bring it down a little bit more and twirl it back up and this is um, what I do because my hair is a lot longer um, if you have shorter hair you could probably do it a different way but I wouldn't recommend going all the way to the bottom and then twisting it up because then it's not gonna um, give a very good curl and then I go to the end and then twirl it up make sure you get those ends in there but again don't get them too far in there or else your hair is gonna slide out and I mentioned this before but this curling iron probably isn't gonna be the best for people who have thin hair because the clamp isn't um, flush with the barrel so your hair might slide out really easily but I have thick hair so it's not a big deal okay then I release it and again it's that really like tight banana or baloney curl or whatever and I just flick it to the back so I'm gonna finish um, this side and then I'll show you what I do on my left side so I'm on the other side now and I'm on the last section of the other side so again a chunk of a hair doesn't have to be perfect I take the clamp and I flip it 
downward and I'm going to go underneath the hair and kind of twist that way so that I'm getting a nice curl away from my face. Whereas on um, my left side, I put the clamp on the top of the hair. On my right side, I put it on the bottom just because I'm right-handed. If you're like left-handed or something, then obviously it would be different. I can only work best with my right hand. Otherwise, I'm like all over the place. So, And then I do the same thing. Just twist it up and hold it. Also, I don't use a heat protectant. I don't like putting a lot of product on my hair because I find that it builds up really quickly and then I won't be able to like leave my hair in for that long, um, for that many days. I don't like to wash my hair too, too often. I like to do it like twice a week. So um, the less product I use on my hair, the longer the style lasts. The one product that I always use is the Living Proof primer so I'll put this in on my in my hair when it's damp or wet and then I will blow dry and then straighten and this gives really nice shine it gives a really good effect so I use that and then actually yesterday I also used this from living proof and this is the restore targeted repair cream you can use this on um, dry hair you can use this on wet hair I put it a little bit in after I use the primer and this is just to like seal the cuticle and protects like split ends and stuff. And I actually think this might be some sort of a heat protectant or something like that. So yeah, it actually, it protects against um, heat styling. So I guess it's still in my hair from yesterday. So that kind of is my heat protectant. All right, so I'm at the two um, most front pieces. And obviously these are kind of the most important because that's what people see when they talk to you. So I'm going to start again halfway and bring it in. I'm not going to bring it all the way into the root. I'm staying a few inches um, away from the roots of my hair because I don't want it to be a super tight curl. I like my curls really loose and you'll see how I even get them to be looser but I'm just gonna hold it and you can see my hair is kind of slipping out of the barrel but um, I just hold it because again I just want I just want a little bit of a loose wave in the front. So then I'll let that go and, and I leave it like that. You don't want to touch the hair when it's still warm. It's gonna ruin um, like the curl pattern of it. So Try not to touch it if you can. I'm going to do this side the same way. Kind of stay a few inches away from my hairline. You don't really have to hold these pieces in for as long as the rest because this is like thinner hair, or at least on me. It's, it's like a different kind of texture of hair than like underneath is like really coarse while the top of my hair is definitely like smoother and softer. All right, so now my hair looks like this and it looks, I look like, um, I don't know what I look like, Shirley Temple or something. And it's cute and all, but this is totally not the look I'm going for. So I'm gonna let this sit for a minute, but what I do after I touch my hair and make sure that it's all um, cool, and like these pieces are definitely cool because it's been a while. These are a little bit warm, but I'm just gonna move on for the sake of this video. So then what I'm gonna do is take like the front um, section of my hair and I'm gonna kind of I'm not gonna brush it through but I'm just gonna kind of take it like this and I'm going to clip all these pieces back so that number one I have like a little bit of a bump in the back of my hair and number two these pieces in the front are all smoothed back because I want more of like a loose wave and then I'll just go in and kind of like shake out that bottom layer because again, I want it to be like a looser wave. I don't necessarily run my fingers through it. I just kind of like shake it out. Um, and now what I'll do is I'll usually leave my hair like this until like I leave the house and then I'll just right before I leave the house, I'm, I'll just take it down and just kind of like fluff it up. Now, sometimes I will use um, hairspray and if I'm going to use hairspray, I'll flip my hair over either before I do this or after I do this. Um, and then I will just spray the bottom of it because I don't like crunchy hair or anything. And then my favorite hairspray is probably the Bumble and Bumble, the purple one. It's really good and it doesn't leave your hair like sticky or tacky. It's kind of like a movable hold. So yeah, I do this because I like um, a looser curl and also it promotes like a little bit of volume in the crown. I know it looks kind of silly, but it's I only leave it in for like 15 um, minutes at the most, I would say. And then when I take it down, which I'll show you in a few minutes, um, my hair is like really pretty and like loose waves. So I will come back and I'll show you like the final result. All right, so this little clip has been sitting in my hair for a few minutes. So I just release it 
and then I'll go and kind of like shake everything out and you can see that the front of it is a lot more um, like of a loose kind of wave than like a tight curl and that's exactly what I wanted and that's the reason that I do um, the little clip trick um, number one it adds some volume which is always which is always a good thing um, and number two, it just kind of like loosens the look, which is what I want. Now, I'm not going to necessarily take my fingers and run through these pretty curls because I like these, although they're a little tight for my personal taste. They are going to fall throughout the day, so I don't want to make them fall um, too, too much. Um, but I am just kind of like shaking. I'll shake them out just a little bit. And then I'll just kind of play with it until I get the desired look. Um, and then the last thing that I would do, which I don't do all the time, but I would definitely, um, most of the time, take my Josie Marin Argan Oil ha Hair Serum. Um, I love this stuff. It's so good. And I'll take a little pump of this, and this just adds really good shine. I'm all about shine, too. And I'll literally just take it, like, and just put it on. Just put it on the hair. Take a little bit through the front. Obviously, you know, you don't want to put it on the roots or anything, um, and I don't want to ruin the curl, so sometimes I'll just kind of, like, scrunch it in, and it just kind of, like, makes it look, like, healthy and shiny and bouncy, so I love these curls. I think they're so pretty, and I'll kind of play with it throughout the day, and it'll it'll change a little bit throughout the day, but this is, like, um, the basic look that I get from this curling iron, which I think is awesome. You don't necessarily need this T3 one, although I, I do highly recommend it. The Sephora Friends and Family sale is soon. I don't know the exact date, but it's soon. And I know you can get 20% um, off of this, which is good because it's it's $99, which in general, I don't even think is that bad for a curling iron. But again, it kind of depends on what you're used to spending. Um, I'm used to spending like a lot of money on my hair tools. So $99 to me isn't that bad. Um, and plus 20% off, it will come down quite a bit. So yeah, this is my this is my curly haired look that I've been just loving lately. I like kind of the flatter at the top and then the curled like almost like at the ear where the curl starts. So, all right. I hope you guys liked this. I hope it helped you. If you have any questions, definitely leave them down below and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.